Also, people asking which steroids I take. They don't ask, <laughs> <laughs> am I taking it or not? It's a tricky so, question. Uh, That's good. <laughs> uh, so I can say that. Yo, Gorillas, welcome to the Athlete Insider Podcast by Gore Nation. My name is Phil, and today's guest is, again, a really, really special one. Somebody who was requested a lot, one of the most ripped calisthenics athletes that I know. He's called the king of muscle-ups, the king of reps, and uh, two-time Guinness World Record holder. I'm happy to welcome you, Max Chu from Belarus. Hi, my friends. Uh, I'm glad to talk with Phil. I'm glad to know that uh, uh, he received a lot of questions, so I will try to answer uh, as I can. <laughs> Great. We received like over 200 questions, maybe even 250. So it was really, um, yeah, interesting. And um, yeah, let's kick off. Who is Max True? How do you present yourself? Uh, so, first of all, I, I want to uh, so apologize for my English because uh, I don't, don't have a lot of practice. So, uh, sometimes I, I will use Google Translate, it's open here, so uh, that's it. So, I'm 31 years old. So, uh, usually people uh, think that uh, I, I have less age than uh, this number, uh, so I, I think uh, this is because of calisthenics. This is uh, the most healthiest kind of sport. And um, I'm from Belarus. I was born on the south of Belarus, a small city called David Garadok. Uh, I usually go there once a month. So uh, to, to visit my parents, uh, uh, I usually I'm making videos from, from this town, a lot of videos because I have a playground there uh, near my house. This was a, like a present uh, for my Guinness record from my um, friend. Uh, this friend is building playgrounds in our country, and this was a very cool present for me. So uh, the place where he built this playground is very beautiful, and uh, it's very convenient for me to visit my parents and uh, do calisthenics there. Nice. I didn't expect that you're 31 years as o at, uh, at all, like I thought. Yeah, of course, you're, you just uh, became father, so congratulations on that. Uh, but I thought you're, you. you're like 25 or uh, something like this. Uh, so 31, yeah, keeping you, keeping you young, calisthenics. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and uh, can you do me a favor and pronounce your full name for me? Um, I, I like I always when I... Oh, it's very... <laughs> it's very hard for foreigners, uh, especially. So in uh, in Belarus uh, we pronounce it Maxim Truchanovets uh, Truchanovets second name. So in English manner we, you can pronounce it Truchanovets. So uh, first part of it it's true and as I'm a programmer, true or false Boolean values are very frequent uh, things that we are using during programming. So uh, it was obvious for me to use true as short uh, form of my second name. Okay, interesting. So you already talked about your profession or your like uh, your real life, uh, you're working as a programmer. Yes, I'm software developer. Uh, uh, now I'm working in Checkpoint Software Technologies, this uh, uh, Israel company, and um, we are doing security stuff. So I'm involved in project uh, called Endpoint Security. So we are protecting uh, Windows hosts from different kind of vulnerabilities, uh, different kind of attacks. Uh, this is very interesting, and uh, I like it very much. So, 
Nice. So you're uh, not... usually people ask me which language I use. It's C plus uh, plus, uh, Java, Kotlin. Uh, basically, that's it. Okay. So you're not uh, only a hero in calisthenics, but also in the cybersecurity and IT world. Uh, calisthenics, calisthenics is like uh, uh, things that helps me to rest from my main work. So during my lunches, after work, I go to the playground to, to exercise. So it helps to relax my brain, relax my mind, uh, to find. Uh, uh, another uh, to to find solutions that you usually don't uh, find because because when you somewhere uh, far from the from your how to say uh, from your work you you have to find different angles of you to the problems so usually it helps a lot to find the solutions uh, for your tasks, issues. That's true. Um, that's also like uh, an empty mind. It's also really helpful to find solutions. Um, for example, if you are under the shower and or on the toilet or stuff like there, you know, like usually yes. people get good ideas there because the, the mind is empty and that's uh, also for workout. That's true. Yes, 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 exactly. Nice. Um, people always are interested in the in your uh, body measurements. How tall and heavy are you? Uh, I'm one meter seventy two centimeters, and body weight. Uh, it's uh, uh, differs from seventy to seventy two. So in this uh, interval. Okay, so quite heavy, like at least for uh, for uh, yeah, it, it, it's not as light as I thought. Seventy is heavy for me. Like well, for one seventy two, uh. if you see calisthenics athletes, like um, not like the weighted or the street lifters, um, I think uh, seventy seventy two mm. kilos for one seventy two are is is good. It's a lot. Uh, so sometimes uh, haters. Uh, writing comments on my YouTube channel or something like, oh, he's, this guy is uh, 50 kilos, so it's easy to do the stuff. So. <laughs> and then they are sitting with with, with their big alone. belly <laughs> and eat chips and like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the sofa, yes. <laughs> yeah, but it, what we get this these comments as well. Like for example, when uh, we just had a video that was going uh, viral from uh, Natalia model. Uh, no, uh, Natalia. Uh, I'm missing the second name. Uh, workout Malishka. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I know her. And uh, I don't, her, I don't remember her. So, ah, Kitayo. Now Kitayo. Yeah, Kitayo. Yeah, yes, she, yes. And uh, the Hefesu girl, uh, Tatiana. Um, and um, these two were going viral with their muscle ups, like easy, clean muscle ups. Um, uh -huh. And people were writing, yeah, they are like for, uh, 50 kilo or 40 kilo. Everybody can do it with their weight. And it's, low, you know, like, uh, it's so weird when there's a guy who is like really heavy saying, oh, everybody could do it with their <laughs> weight. And um, yeah, there will always be haters uh, writing this, but 72 kilos is um, yes. good. You have to feel good with it. But thanks God, I don't have a lot of haters. So <laughs> probably uh, this is because I don't uh, spend a lot of time in the social network. So <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay, that's also a good thing. Uh, how to to block haters? Uh, just not to spend time with them. <laughs> um, what is your story? How did you get in touch with with Calisthenics? How did you get the the person that you are today? Um, so this started uh, 60 years ago when I was preparing uh, to to the university. So in my school, it it is very hard to prepare to the university uh, because 
uh, this is uh, this was school in small town and uh, to be honest teachers are not very good uh, so i had to prepare spend a lot of time uh, learning uh, physics math uh, learning uh, russian language to prepare for exams so uh, because of that i didn't have a lot of time but i like sport i played football i um, visited visited karate so uh, and uh, i didn't want to break uh, with sport and uh, the only solution was uh, to start calisthenics because uh, near my house uh, I had uh, bars, so it was uh, very easy to go during my rest from the preparation and uh, do exercises. So it, it was in 2005. And uh, this is the time when YouTube started. I, I don't remember the year exact year. 2007, probably, when YouTube started. I'm not sure. Something like that. Mm -hmm. So I remember that uh, uh, in after that, in few years, uh, a lot of uh, videos appeared on the YouTube uh, with Hannibal with American athletes that doing uh, different exercises. It was uh, uh, very inspiring, very uh, unusual at that moment. And uh, I decided uh, to spend more time uh, with calisthenics because uh, I, realized, I realized that uh, uh, there are a lot of things that uh, could be achieved um so since that it was part of my life i was doing calisthenics during the university and after that i also still uh, I, I continued with that i heard a lot of um, words from from people that uh, when you when you will you will have a family or when you have a job you will break with it because you don't have uh, uh, you don't have time for that so I would say that uh, this is false statement because if you want you uh, it's easy to find thirty minutes in a day to do calisthenics. So, so okay. that's it. So 16 years, I, I looked it up. Uh, YouTube was uh, founded 2005, uh, so 15 years ago. Um, so your journey is like a lot, lot longer than most of the people um, doing this sport. Was it called calisthenics already when you started? No, 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 no. When I started, I just did pull-ups dips and uh, i didn't call it uh, uh, somehow so after that in probably 2010 it uh, was called uh, in our country workout street workout and uh, uh, after that, our people, I mean, the Russian people realized that you know, workout is something, is this wrong uh, name for this activity? Because uh, uh, if you translate workout into Russia, you understand that uh, this is just general uh, word for, for exercises. I don't know. <laughs> so you know, I, I think it's better to call it at least street workout or calisthenics. And now people understand that uh, it's proper name. Okay. Uh, what was the Russian name? Was it, wasn't it like something like Washka or something? 
Can you say it in Russian, the workout? Uh, uh, if you translate it, it, uh, it is translated like тренировка, oh, okay. like similar to training, but uh, we call it workout, workout okay. in Russian manner, that's it. Okay. So just using the English word. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> And um, yeah, how, uh, Daniel was asking an interesting question, in my opinion. How long did it take from the first muscle up to the world record? How was the time span? Let me count. First muscle up. I was able to do, take, I think. I think 12 years old and the record was two years ago. Uh, so probably something like six, 60, 16 years old, 60 years, 16, 16 years. years. Wow, so something like, like that. So 18 years ago, you did your first muscle up? Yeah, yeah, maybe even earlier. Wow. Something like that. Was it easy for you to, to learn a muscle up? Did you always have the, the functional strength to do pull ups, etc.? I think, yes, it was easy. I spent probably two months for that and uh, I wasn't good enough in pull-ups at that moment. So uh, I started doing pull-ups and uh, soon I succeeded with muscle-up. And what do you think is It wasn't your... very hard. Okay. And, and what do you think is your secret, you know? Like somebody who is watching your social media profiles, your results, your records, whatever, he is thinking, oh, this guy has to do something completely different. If he's that successful, uh, he has to do something completely different. What do you think is your secret? Is it genetics? Is it the food that you take? Is it, uh, is it steroids? Is it, what, what is it? <laughs> like, let us know. <laughs> Definitely, uh, I don't have secrets uh, because uh, I, I can't say that, that my way was the the best way uh, to achieve this goal because uh, I see that a lot of people uh, have much faster progress than, than I in different exercises. Uh, so I just uh, almost every day I did base exercises, pull ups. Mm, less deeps, uh, push-ups, so, and muscle-ups. Th this definitely wasn't the optimi optimized way, but it was very hard and long. Okay, and um, if you would start again now, like let's switch back 20, 18 years, um, how would you change your workout schedule? What would you recommend yourself? Oh, very hard question. I know I have the, the hardest questions. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I think uh, main error when I started was that I did a lot of pull-ups every day. So I think you need to do one day you need to do uh, a lot of exercises and the other day you need to do, if you want to do a lot of exercises, you need to, to choose those exercises that uh, won't involve uh, muscles that you used the previous day. So you need to do some rest. That's it, I think. Because uh, almost every day I was overtrained. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean like every day you did pull-ups, like every day, seven days a week? 
Yes. 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 Uh, only one day a week, I did just uh, one set of pull-ups and run about uh, five kilometers. So it was uh, like a uh, test day for me. So I just did one set, uh, tried to beat my record, and after that, ran five kilometers. Okay. So you always focused on endurance, like uh, strength endurance. And uh, yeah, I don't want to call it cardio be because of the running, but still like endurance. Yes. Yes. Endurance. Okay. I started weighted uh, calisthenics uh, seven years ago. With weighted calisthenics, you mean uh, lightweight and still endurance or uh, additional? Yes, yes, yes. What, uh, lightweight endurance. Okay. Um, so people were asking, did you have injuries on your way? Because you did. Um, you said you were overtrained. You said you did pull-ups every day. Did you have uh, problems with uh, tendonitis, with a tennis elbow, whatever? Mm, I think no. Sometimes I had pain in biceps, in triceps, uh, in my back, but usually it takes something like months and disappear. I don't have uh, big injuries and didn't, didn't have it before. So. This is because I'm doing basics, basic workout, basic exercises, and uh, uh, it's hard. If you don't use uh, big weights, it's hard to take injuries. Okay. And uh, do you do stretching after the workout or a long uh, warm up? Or um... I do warm up. Uh, I do stretching during workouts, but uh, sometimes after, but mainly during uh, during workouts. Okay, get it. Um, yes, let's come to the the present. How does your uh, workout schedule look like right now in 2020? Mm. So usually on Monday I do a lot of muscle ups, uh, a little bit dips, uh, push ups. So it's uh, endurance day and it's a day of uh, muscle ups. Uh, usually I do first set, uh, first set, it is 50 muscle up uh, without uh, letting the bar. 15 or and 50? After that I do. Uh, 50. Five zero. Five zero, yes. What? <laughs> well, okay. you, you know, I'm doing rest on, uh, on the bar, so okay, it's not consecutive. Okay, but still. It, uh, it's also hard. It's very, very hard, but uh, not as hard as consecutive muscle ups. Uh, after that, uh, I'm doing one arm pull ups. Uh, sets with uh, dips, muscle ups, dips, uh, pull ups, uh, and uh, in the end, I'm doing uh, like five sets of muscle ups, mus maximum muscle ups. So, uh, on Monday, it takes something like uh, one hour and a half. Uh, also, when it's warm outside, uh, I'm doing a little bit running, sprint running. Uh, on Tuesday, I do you know, regular pull-ups, about uh, 230, something like that. Uh, it takes one hour. Uh, and in the evening, I do several sets of push-ups. Uh, it usually takes half of an hour. Uh, Wednesday is a 
uh, a little bit leg day. I uh, do different kinds of squats, jumps. Uh, also, I do human flag, uh, dips a little bit. Uh, um, Thursday, it's a weighted calisthenics. I do pull-ups mainly with, usually uh, with 32 kilos. Uh, it takes about two hours. Uh, Friday, it's a running day. I run about 10 kilometers. Uh, Saturday, uh, it is a weighted muscle ups day. Usually I use uh, 18 kilos. Uh, and Sunday, uh, a lot of different easy exercises. So it's like not a rest day, but uh, light. Uh, workouts okay i really like uh, your explanation of the leg day of a little bit leg day uh with uh, with with the uh, dips and human flag you know like the two leg workout uh, leg exercise that everybody <laughs> knows <laughs> no but I do, I do them during the rest so yeah <laughs> but legs is not leg your day of good things at least <laughs> uh, could you repeat uh, legs, legs are not your focus, right? Um, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You do it because of health or um, uh, aesthetics, or uh, why do you do legs? Both health and aesthetics. Also, I had good results in sprint uh, during uh, during in school in the university. My best result in hundred meters is. 11.8 it's not uh, something uh, awesome but uh, for me it's good results uh, so okay and when you do explosive leg workout like jumps and stuff like that uh, you don't you don't grow big legs right or is it um, because your goal is not to have like yes. big legs but strong and effective legs. Yes, yes, yes. Prob uh, yes, I think you're right. Also because of uh, running 10 kilometers, I think uh, you won't get big legs. Yeah. If you want big legs, you need to run only small distances. Yeah, okay. Um, do you also work on skills? That was a question that was asked so many times. Can he do a planche? Can he do a front lever? Um, like, uh, <laughs> mm, do you work I also, on that? I also, uh, this is also a frequent question in my uh, Instagram. I usually, uh, I asked, answered several times, but people keep asking it. So, uh, I can't do planche. I, I can sometimes when I uh, when I uh, how to say uh, rest uh, when I uh, fresh. Uh, so sometimes I I can do something like planche about two seconds, but I don't train it. Uh, now I usually train a human flag, so I have good results in it. I I can hold human flag for more than forty seconds. Mm. Uh, what else? Uh, also, now I started learn handstand a little bit, so I now I can do some three push-ups, three hands and push-ups. Uh, I started it, uh, I started uh, learning it recently. So for me, it, it's good result. 
what else? Front lever. Ah, uh, for front lever, yes, I learned it many years ago. Yes, I can. I can do it. Uh, also, you can find it in my Instagram. I don't post it uh, very often, but okay, sometimes. because because I guess it should be quite easy for you because you have the the power from pull ups and uh, like the the back power, which is really important for the front lever. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, somebody <laughs> was asking, can you learn the front lever only by doing pull ups? Only by doing. Uh, I'll tell you how I learned pull up uh, front lever. I did pull ups, and during rest, I just did negative front lever, and uh, I think in in two months, I succeeded in learning. So. Uh, Definitely, you need to do, you need to try it a lot of, you need to do a lot of tries. Without tries, you won't learn it. I think it's impossible only with pull-ups. Okay. Get it. Um, I would be interested in uh, your PRs, some some of your personal records, um, because you said uh, like um, you also do some weighted with uh, 32 kilo uh, pull-ups, 18 kilo muscle-ups, um, and uh, yeah, did do mm -hmm. you know yeah like your uh, your one rep max for example for pull-ups, your record for one rep? I did uh, 88 pull-up. And I didn't, it was several years ago and I didn't try it more. Uh, I, to be honest, I don't like uh, big weights on pull-ups and divs. So I think this is my personal record, but I d don't train it. And you don't have- I mean, one, one rep pull-up. And you don't have the the I don't know how to call it the curiosity to try if you can do the 100 kg pull up or is it like it's just not important for you you don't even want to try. It. It's important and you, uh, there is big possibility of getting injuries. I think okay. these heavy weights. Okay, so for you, the health side, is, the health side is there is more important than uh, feeding your ego or just trying out uh, the 100 kg, right? I think this is because I have good results in small weights and uh, body weight exercises, and uh, I don't have. Uh, big motivation to do something more with uh, big weights and uh, uh, additional fact that you can get injured so okay get it both of this um what was the heaviest muscle up that you ever tried uh did, did you do an attempt a few years ago or something i did uh, three muscle ups with 32 kilos, and uh, th this was my best result. But uh, now I don't train with big weights muscle ups. I usually use uh, 16 or 18 uh, kilograms. Okay. So 32 kilos and uh, uh, bigger weights. I tried, but I didn't succeed it with bigger weights. But uh, I think if uh, I will train several months, uh, I can increase this result. Okay. And uh, like uh, we have uh, our product manager, the the Fred uh, Frederick. Um, he is one of the like one of the really strong um, weighted athletes, and he is doing like. Uh, 
20 to 22, 23 reps with uh, 32 kg pull-ups. Um, so like he was, uh, he was mm -hmm. really strong before mm -hmm. he became a father. He was really, really active. Um, if, if he would do uh, <laughs> so him, so the two fathers <laughs> of, of calisthenics, uh, how many reps do you do with uh, 32 kg in pull-ups? Did you try your rep? My, yeah, my personal record is 20, 23. It was several weeks ago. I'm going to publish it uh, on YouTube and Instagram soon. Okay. So it would be a close it was, battle. Yes, it was in Garnation t-shirt, so. Ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the power yeah. comes from. <laughs> yes. Nice. That's great. Um, and um, yeah, like um, if you tell somebody, a, a beginner or a, even an uh, intermediate athlete, uh, three things that he could, should improve to get better results, what would be these things? What is something that you give as an advice to somebody who is listening right now? I think that the best thing is uh, keep constantly do workouts. That the, this is the main thing. And uh, after some time, you will have uh, you will get experience to progress. Um, so the the main thing is constant work uh also rest important so you need to rest but uh, uh this is this advice is not for for a lot of people because usually people don't uh, work enough for the progress this this advice is for people like like me is it uh, like funds in uh, calisthenics i think this is main two advices and uh, that's enough okay um and to have the 0.5 percent of body fat that you have no like uh, how many percent of body <laughs> fat fat do you have uh, uh, several months ago, and uh, no, not several months ago, it was in the beginning of the year. Um, I checked my uh, body fat in uh, uh, in a special hospital, uh, they have uh, how to say electro impedance. I measured. This um, machine measure, measure your uh, uh, parameters of your body, uh, like uh, body fat, muscle, ma mu muscle mass, uh, your bones, and uh, water, I think, as well. Sorry? Water as well, I think. I uh, probably water. Yes. Yeah, so I have this uh, paper with the results. I can send you if you want later to play somewhere in the video. As I remember, my body fat was eight point six, something like that. Well, yes, yeah, something like that. And I, I wasn't shredded, very shredded at that time. But uh, I think it's usual uh, value for my body. Something like 8 or 10 percent body fat. Wow. It, honestly, really, it, it looks like 1 percent, 2 percent, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's crazy. So. <laughs> All no, no, no. When, when you have one or two, you will 
you you can't keep this body fat a lot of time yeah. you will i think you will lose everything your muscles your uh, your health and it's not good to have very low body fat i think and you keep it the whole year on this level right to at eight to ten percent yes but when we have holidays uh usually i eat a lot of sweets a lot of uh, uh great food from my mother so <laughs> uh, usually during holidays i have <laughs> greater value than 10 probably okay wow well. but i know how to decrease my body fat so it's not very hard okay uh, what does your nutrition look like Nutrition. In the morning, I usually eat cottage. Uh, cottage with with, uh, with jam, with fruits, uh, with nuts, uh, something like that. Uh, at lunch, I eat usually meat with vegetables, and uh, in the evening, also. I eat meat and vegetables. Also, I have uh, two snacks between main meals. I take coffee, probably with, with sweets, one or two, and uh, or cookie, something like that. Sounds good. Um... So basically, that's it. <laughs> Uh, so no no carbohydrates no no rice no potatoes uh, pasta potatoes yes sometimes so it's vegetables yeah. okay rice yeah but not very often I don't like rice okay so because when you say like meat and vegetables for uh, lunch and uh, in the evening um, it's like not there's no carbohydrates in it right yes agree okay you don't need it <laughs> but also i i i drink a lot of milk I, uh, there is a lot of carbs i uh, eat sweets so this is how i take carbs i think okay yeah the low chain like the the sugar uh sugar part not the long chain uh carbohydrates that uh, like for example are in potatoes or rice or stuff like that mm -hmm. okay interesting um yes so um and your opinion on supplements uh was asked as well what do you think about uh, whey protein or creatine uh, any stuff like that Protein is a good thing when you don't have possibility to eat uh, meat or, or cottage, for example. Uh, if you don't have a uh, possibility to go home, so protein is good, but you shouldn't think that uh, this will help you a lot to uh this is, you do, you shouldn't think that this is the only way to gain muscles because uh with uh, simple food you can get the same uh, that you can get with protein um what else you asked protein creatine and uh, ah creatine uh i tried only once creatine and uh uh, I didn't had big increase in results. Only, uh, on, only it increased only my weight. Uh, I think it was additional water. So I decided that uh, for me it's useless. Probably for somebody it can be useful, but uh, for me not. I think also. 
as I understand, you, you are getting creatin from the meal, from the meat. Um, so I don't think that this is the supplement that I should eat additionally. Okay, makes sense. Um, yeah, we already had the question a little bit in the, um, in the interview before, but um, it was still asked. Um, Nailka was asking, do you take steroids? What is your, uh, your question to that? Because you already told me that people sometimes ask it. It's very often question. Uh, a lot of people asking me, uh, do I take steroids? And uh, uh, also people asking, which steroids I take? They don't ask, <laughs> <laughs> am I taking it or not? It's a tricky so, question, uh, that's good. <laughs> uh, so I can say that no, I never try. I don't, I have never, uh, I haven't tried uh, steroids and um, I don't think that uh, this is uh, good uh, stuff when you want to keep your body healthy. If you want to take money with that, if it's your work, probably you can get them. But for me, I'm a software developer <laughs> and um, I don't earn money with that. What is the sense of that? I don't understand. Uh, people often ask because uh, they don't believe that uh, my results could be achieved without steroids. But guys, more than 16 years of work, of hard work, <laughs> you can try it. Just do workouts more than 16 years and you will uh, get even more than me. That's true. That's um, where um, I can just say, if you talk about your calisthenics journey and it's like 18 years, something um, you with steroids, you, you, you don't have like such a long career because one day your body starts suffering from the, from the, yeah, how to call it from the steroids, you know, from it's toxic um, for your body or like it, it takes, mm -hmm. takes the energy out of your body in long term. And if I listen to your um, training journey and uh, attitude, etc., you always think like you're really long term. You're not about the short term goals or uh, pleasure, pleasure, etc. But you really think long term, and um, that's where it only makes sense not to take steroids because um, you're really long term oriented. I think you in the beginning you said you want to one day you want to be able to work out with your with your uh, with your boy now with your child and. Um, that doesn't work if you take steroids because then you will be wasted in, in a few years. Yes, I agree with you. I saw uh, several people that took steroids and they changed their body in probably months or two. They became from these guys to very big. I participated in uh, men's physique uh, competition in our country. And, uh, for example, in spring, uh, I saw guys that was so-so, but in autumn, they became very huge. And uh, it was uh, <laughs> very, very interesting for me. How people yeah. changing their bodies with the steroids. And if you look uh, to my Instagram, to the videos, um, my body uh, haven't changed since my journey started a lot. So uh, I'm changing a little bit year by year. So yeah. This long, hard way. That's true. And people will always look for excuses. I think this is why they um, accuse you of taking steroids or, for example, the, the comments that we had under the, the videos with, uh, the, oh, they are only 40 kg, et cetera, because people always think, oh, I'm training for years now. And like they are training a lot, but not hard and not with the system and not uh, with, uh, with discipline, et cetera. 
and then they see somebody um, and they, they have like crazy results and they, they just think, oh, I don't have it. I work out for a long time. I'm impatient. This guy has to cheat. Um, so um, that's yeah. true. Totally agree with you. Um, yes. So, um, what's your opinion on recovering faster? We received some, some questions about quick recovery, and uh, if somebody can give advice on this, if somebody was overtrained and uh, has some training experience, then it's you. Um, what's your advice to to training recovery? Recovery. Mm, I think the best way is do light exercises, not rest, only rest at all lying on the sofa. I think the best way is uh, uh, pump a little bit your muscles with blood that will help to recover. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay. So active rest, way. deload, stuff like yes. that. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. And um, how does being a father influence your training? I think it's uh, it's a big change in your life since a few months. And uh, how does it influence your training? Probably now you can hear he's crying. <laughs> so uh, now we, because of uh, Corona, uh, I'm working from home. So uh for me it's easy be, uh, to train with child because i can take it uh, take him with me to the playground uh do my exercises and uh, uh watch on him and so nothing has changed okay And uh, like I see it uh, with with Frederick here, um, he suffered from like suffered is a big word, but um, you don't get as much sleep as you did before, I guess. Um, how do you deal with that? Mm, he's sleeping well now. Uh, it, when he uh, when he had a stomach ache, he. Uh, Uh, cried a lot during the night and uh, this was was hard times but now he sleep well he sleeps well and uh, uh, also because of corona i can sleep in the morning more i don't need to go to the office i have more time and uh, no no problems with that Nice. Okay, that sounds good. Um, and uh, yeah, the last question before we come to the end. Um, your current goals, what, what are you working on right now? I don't have uh, exact goal right now. Uh, and uh, usually I don't tell my main goal that I want to achieve. Uh, because i see a lot of people that uh, screaming that uh, they are going to break records they are doing something awesome and etc uh, i usually i just uh, do and if i succeeded i tell people about it because i understand that um, When you go and when you're going to beat records, it's uh, impossible to know uh, if you fail or not because this is records. Uh, so I have several exercises that I'm going to focus on, but uh, I prefer not to tell which exercises. I prefer not to tell that. Uh, I will do something very, very big. I prefer to just show my results. That's it. 
Yeah, and that's like that's the the image uh, that I received from you in this interview is like um, you're somebody with um, less less words and more action. Like, um, um, for example, like that you were so long in this game and probably this, yes in this sport. Um, like um, that's something really special, and it's not something that you tell everyone or have so many uh, years of experience, etc. And um, it's really interesting um, because. Um, Uh, it feels like you're not the, the marketing guy. You're not like uh, um, the, the one who, who does the, the advertisement and uh, yeah, is, is uh, talking a lot, but yeah, like you're working in the background, you're working and doing your stuff. So yeah, that's uh, really nice to see. And uh, I think people will appreciate you, get to know you better. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Um, We have some quick questions for the end uh, to end this episode. Um, what do you prefer, mm -hmm. pizza or burger? Pizza, definitely pizza. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, are you a dog or a cat person? <laughs> cat person. <laughs> but uh, uh, but now I can't um, get cat in my uh, house because. My wife have uh, an allergy. Mm. Uh, b before that, we had cat, uh, and uh, we we lose him. But uh, when we decided to get him, uh, my wife didn't uh, know that she had an allergy, and after some time, she realized that, and now. It's a pity, but we can't uh, get a cat, so it's okay. a very big problem for us. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. But you know that there are uh, nude, nude cats, right? Cats without without hair. <laughs> yes, I do, yes, <laughs> but I don't like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, what is your favorite location for holidays? Uh, for holidays, probably, uh, probably my parents' home because uh, I spent my childhood there and uh, all the memories from there. And probably this is the best place for me. And the good food and the playground with the training park. Um, yeah, sounds like yes, the perfect holiday exactly. location. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Great. Uh, what is the, the worst exercise for you, the nightmare exercise that you hate? Nightmare. Mm. Uh, I can't. Uh, choose the one exercise that I hate. There are a lot of exercises that I don't love, but uh, uh, probably when you don't love some exercises, you can uh, just uh, do less uh, reps of it or change it. And, uh, I can't answer that. Okay. I, I can't find the exercise that uh, the most, uh, as that I don't like at all. Okay. That's good. Um, do you have a favorite calisthenics athlete or somebody that you look up to or follow and are impressed by his results or are you focused on yourself only? There are a lot of good guys that... Uh, Uh, that I'm following on Instagram, uh, on YouTube, and uh, each guy good at uh, special things. So uh, I can name some of them, for example, uh, Ruslan Saibov, uh, Dima Kuznetsov, uh, Igor Kovtun. Zhenia Lois, if you know him, he's yeah. from Belarus. If Lois Strong, he, he's called ah, uh, yes. his name in Instagram. He's my good friend. And uh, uh, 
Javi from Spain. So there are a lot of guys that uh, I'm following and uh, but I can't name one person that is uh, like uh, God for me. Okay, that's good. Um, do you have a favorite book, a book that you would recommend to the people? Mm, probably Lord of the Rings, my favorite. I, I like such kind of... Uh, books like fairy tales <laughs> uh, so probably that's it but uh, unfortunately uh, today nowadays i don't read a lot i usually read technical uh, books te technical stuff for programming related to my work okay uh what what is the favorite uh, what was the best calisthenics event you've ever been at Um, I liked very much uh, World Championship in Moscow. Uh, I was there twice in uh, 2013 and 14. Uh, also, I like uh, Burning Gate. Uh, it is in Italy, uh, if you heard about it, uh, guys did a good job, uh, especially with uh, endurance competitions, it was very uh, inspiring, really amazing, probably that's it. Okay, nice. And the last quick question, if you have to decide muscle-ups or pull-ups? muscle ups okay <laughs> definitely muscle ups because they involve small muscles <laughs> you're also doing dips there okay i expected that <laughs> but still wanted to ask that's good um if people have <laughs> questions uh, if people want, want to get in touch with you um how can they learn from you uh, they find you on youtube i think yes on YouTube, Instagram. That's it. <laughs> YouTube and Instagram are your, yeah. <laughs> your, your profile. <laughs> okay, nice. We will put everything yes. in the description. So if you want to check out uh, Max uh, social media accounts, do that. And uh, yeah, we're coming to an end. Um, before you can say goodbye to everyone, Max, I want to say thank you to everyone listening to this. Um, yeah, it's been, uh, again, a long interview, but I think a lot, a lot of um, great insights. It was really nice that you, you took your time, uh, Max, because I know that you're a busy man, a busy athlete, uh, worker, father, uh, boyfriend and everything. So, um, yeah, thanks a lot for that. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I know that the people will appreciate and uh, yeah, if you liked the interview, feel free to share it with somebody who needs it, to like it, do whatever you want with it. And uh, yeah, Max, you can end the episode. Thanks everyone for, lis for listening. Thank you, Phil. Thank, thank you guys for watching, for listening. Um, it was really cool questions and uh, hope you see uh, in real life when Corona uh, finished. So thank you, Phil.